just, uh, I'm very excited about this, if you haven't noticed by my uh, Facebook uh, repetitive post about this. Um, Dr. Kniff uh, messaged me about a month or so ago after we included the uh, Tesla mural and uh, said he had some um, Tesla related research that he'd like to share with us and, and kind of open a conversation about some of the amazing things Tesla did and how some of them relate, relate to uh, the human genomics and, and their chromosomes. So um, I read briefly through his uh, research paper as much as I can understand. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm, I'm really excited. This is really fascinating stuff. So I'd like to introduce Dr. Uh, Ivan Kinev and uh, Professor Shiro Mizuno, uh, who is with us from Japan also. And they're going to be presenting the structural and functional similarities between the chromosomes and some of Tesla's ideas of Let me tell you first, this is a crazy idea. As crazy as the life of Nikola Tesla is. It sounded unbelievable. We started 14 years ago, studied the chromosomes, and we found some unusual stuff that we keep low profile for the next 12 years. We we were afraid to tell anybody what we see. You know, so unusual. So after 12 years, we decided to go not in the medical society where I work, but to go in the International Congress of Physics just to face the other guys from the other side of the border. Then I met Professor Mizuno. He saw the idea and he also showed me some of his results in support of this, what we're finding. And again, he was not published this result because it's again unusual. So from there, we invited the third physicist, born in Czech, but working in the Department of Physics in um, Omaha, University of Omaha. Then we invited medical doctors, and uh, a lot of study in the last two years uh, has been presented in international conferences in Canada, in China, in Europe. We published some of the results, and we are still in a very murky water. Because if this is true, what we are finding, this will eventually change the mainstream concepts of the cell biology in the molecular biology and in the medicine. So I will show you how this is so unusual and Nikola Tesla is an amazing man. He saw everything that today we discovered in the chromosomes. He saw this and invented this 120 years ago. How he did it? I have no idea. Let's start it with that. With the first slide. We studied the mission of the chromosomes in this case that I'm presenting. And one of the mission of the, of the chromosomes, this is the chromosome, the human chromosome 21, is to build unique and universal electrical device by sterilization and making DNA molecules into coreless, loosely and tightly coiled chromosomes. This is our, one of our last discovery of the, the process called crossing over and uh, life cycle of the chromosomes. And now, this year, Tesla invented his transformer, which is practically a metal copy and construction of the chromosomes, which at this time they completely unknown. No one knew that they existed or that they had constructed with histones, proteins, DNA. DNA is not discovered. Tesla made it, copied the same stuff, and even the shape of his transformer. It's complete copy to the chromosomes. Amazing, huh? What a, what a vision for a man. Now, here again, the transformer and the chromosomes. 
We practically copy the chromosomes in the metal form and invented one of the really unique transformers. And I have, of course, you know, these presentations in New York and the most famous people in, in these days attended these presentations. Here is the transformer, here is the about 2 million volts sparks and Tesla is reading this paper below. Mark Twin is playing with the ball, lamp ball, and it's like it with his hands, which is considered that he must die. So it is also amazing, really. But he, he made this possible because he copied these amazing chromosomes. Let me tell you why the chromosomes are amazing. All plants, animals, and humans are built on this material. That's the copy. That's the information here. There is nothing else. So, 120 years to make a copy of this from metal and to make an amazing and unique device is something that I have no explanation. Now, another mission of the chromosome is to build super large and super strong electrical device by sterilization and making it then. This happened only in some form of life. One of them is so-called Drusophila, fruit fly. Like all animal creatures, this fly has a small chromosomes, but the larval stage is called nympha. They have one very big chromosome, which is thousand times bigger than the normal chromosomes. So this larva is only one cell. The cells does not divide, like in humans and plants. So the lab has invented a very strong chromosome to generate and produce enough energy that can operate the whole body of the lab. And this super large chromosome become very famous of the world with the work with Thomas Morgan, the father of the, of the genetics. So he used this larva and this chromosome. That the chromosomes were invisible and not now until this time. He exposed them to X-ray and make mutation. Flies with them. Uh, long wings, short wings, different color of the eyes. And until now there was no explanation why this happened. Why this is possible in Drosophila, but not in the horse or not in the pig. And now we know because very likely Thomas Morgan selected this model for study and this large super chromosome with its ability to produce super strong voltage uh, power make all these mutations. And in 1933, he received a Nobel Prize for this discovery. Now, yes, genius inventor followed again this big chromosome and built his big Tesla transformer in the Long Island. I hope you know the history of this uh, big transformer. But it was considered so powerful that in 1908, when Tungus meteorite hit the Russian government in the United States closed this tower, suggesting that this is the results of experiments of Tesla, sending a big amount of power and energy across the world. They found no proof. The tower was open, and in 1917, again, the government of the United States closed and destroyed the tower. You know the reason why? Because Germans, the submarines comes close to the Long Island, and the government was afraid that this powerful tool will fall in the hand of Germans, and they can use it against United States. So that's the story how this experiment finished. But more or less, it's again genius inventor 
Tesla built this 30 years before a new case to discover this big super chromosome. The third mission of the chromosome is to use wire, to use wireless communication, which is necessary for identification and localization of homologous chromosomes. What's that, the homologous chromosomes? Here, yeah, this is human uh, chromosomes, the picture that uh, I made from the real life in our lab. And here, what, one chromosome is from mother, one is from father. This is called homologs to, to create the life and to give us the life cycles of the cell. This chromosome has to find themselves to make identification and to find their localization. For 140 years, no one knew how these chromosomes, it's 46 numbers in the dark nucleus of the cell, nothing visible. They could not talk, they had no ear to listen, no mouth to talk. Now they found themselves, no us. Now we believe that the chromosomes affect in the different size, different shape, as electrical device producing electrical waves with a different size and different lengths, and they corresponded one to another likely how the, we use a radar to locate cars and submarines and so on. So this is the mission, which chromosomes use for millions of years. And look now what happened. This Tesla in 1917 was the first one who invented radar. So Tesla again knew the secret of the chromosomes before we, the scientists of the medicine and biology, knew this and invented radar. So it's another, let's say, coincidence, because I have no other words to say. But too many incidents in this year. Unbelievable. Now, let's see another one. The first mission of the chromosomes is to use wireless communication, which is necessary for exchange of information between the homologous chromosomes. Why they need to exchange that information? This is number three. From mother, this is number three from father. When they pack and they are ready to pair, which one is first ready just to find the other one? Say, hey, here, I'm here. Are you ready? Let's meet. Do you want me? No explanation in the medicine of biology. How this happen? Because they really spread in, in quite different places in the nucleus. We believe that the chromosomes like electrical device and they use like we use today telephone in the big city like Lincoln. The police talk between themselves, we didn't hear them. The ambulance talked on their frequencies. So that is the answer according to the answer according to the physicists. Fantastic. So I did explain why the chromosomes are made in different size and shape. Now, what, what happened with Tesla? 1983, he developed his concepts of wireless communication. Far, far before the, the, the chromosomes to be now. How this happened, and is, is there some correlation? I don't know, but he's following all steps of the chromosome. The next mission of the chromosome. From this stage in the nucleus, every from mother and father they have to pair, have to be arranged perfectly before the separation. How this happened was unknown until now. Now we believe that these chromosomes to, to come from this stage to this stage during the cell division. They use some kind of remotely controlled directed movement. Because to come from here, this one, this two here, and, 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 and this second two, to, to arrange in this way, you like a parking car. A little on the left, a little on the rear, 
work and it's happened in the chromosomes with the remote control. Now, this is the guy who discovered the remote control in Medicine Square Garden in New York in this year. He demonstrated the boat in the lake, how it's moved, and people didn't understand. I think he was completely not understood all the time, but in this time they believe that he's crazy man and move it with the brain, which I agree. <laughs> move with the brain, but after invention, after understanding the, the law of physics, which no one else around him understands. Another mission of the chromosome is to repair. It's well known that when you get sick, the chromosome has the tools to find where the broken place is and to fix it, to repair it. And for this, in modern medicine, it's just X-ray to, to treat the, the humans with the cancer or some uh, radio waves and stuff like that, which is now today. Tesla game was one of the first who invented Tesla bomb machine to, to treat and to repair the DNA and chromosomes, which in this time were uh, not now, but he said that these waves are useful and they could be used for treatment and invented this machine and it's still working in some part of the world today. Now, what about the X-ray? This is about the, the next mission is to prevent it, the DNA and chromosomes from damaging. That's why the chromosome, this is the cell, and the chromosomes are right here in the middle, surrounded several, uh, a lot of practically stuff around them to absorb some negative influence from outside. And especially one of them is the most dangerous. This is X-ray. In 1946, Herman Miller received a Nobel Prize showing this is the chromosome 9 exposed to X-ray. It's abnormal and this lead to cancer. This is become known in 1946. He received the Nobel Prize immediately after Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bomb explosions. Now, what about this? What he's thinking about this? Genius in mind. 50 years before Herman Miller, Tesla says no. X ray is dangerous, X ray is killing people. And uh, he's one of the first. He actually made a picture of his hands seven years before Röntgen discovered the X-ray infused object. And he sent a picture with his picture with signature to Röntgen. The Röntgen replied and asked why you didn't make experiments and why didn't why you didn't take the Nobel Prize. He said because. How this man knew this stuff? His rival, all life rival Thomas Edison, was not able to understand this. I want to say that he is also a very great inventor, no doubt about that. But something is missing the flavor of this genius mind. Thomas Edison failed to understand this, and I hope you know that he made. X-ray exposure to his eyes and become almost blind. And then one of his assistant, his daddy, was exposed so sharply, so rapidly that they have to cut his arms to save his life. That does not work. He developed cancer in the Mediterranean and died. Now, I, I hope you know that three times. Tesla 
was suggested to receive the Nobel Prize. He, he, he was not understand person living in France at this time. One of his invention for the Nobel Prize was about the rape. The Nobel Prize went to Marconi, but practically the court later recognized that the priority is for this, but the Nobel Prize went. Then uh, Tesla discovered so-called uh, space ray, and the Nobel Prize went to Hess. Again, he does not uh, receive nothing. So uh, he remained and not understand just because he is a genius mind. Now, with your permission, I will tell you what I understand. It's personal, it's not scientific, what I'm going to say from here. That's up to be scientific. My opinion what is genius mind. Do you like to know? A personal. What is the genius mind? People with different in some level construction and functions of the chromosomes and brain. For this reason, they are gifted with extraordinary intuition and ability to see and to understand events that are not visible and not understood for others. So many people see something and they never understand. That among them is all these famous people. All they are genius, and you know what is the division between the genius and the, and the Batman, the crazy man? Just one step. It depends where the public will put you. All these men, the public in one or the other degree, put them in the crazy stuff. One's genius, one's crazy. I hope you know the now, Archimedes died. You know how he died? The soldier stuck. And he was working on his circles and cylinders. And when the soldier was killing him, he does not try to kill himself. He said, Don't disturb my drawings. So he, he was thinking about his drawings that he was working this day. And all these men are lonely and in some way uh, new it's a very strange life and big issue with the church, religion, and so on. Archimedes to Nikola Tesla, who also, and uh, Albert Einstein, if you read his history of his life with his wife, Mila, which is Serbian, like him, and there's his sons, and all the, what is going on on the left. He was considered also a genius with untraditional understanding of the world. That is how he made his discovery. It's the same with this. We didn't know how the brains of these people work, but from the scientific viewpoint, that is the brain of Einstein. He died in Princeton, and his brain was taken, sliced, and studied. And the report say that his brain is unlike, is very different from the other people with rich with clear and clear is the connection between the the level between the levels. So his brain works like a super because there is a lot of wonderful uh, connections. And uh, when he died and they studied his brain they say it looks like they did his page. So there is something, and to have a such a brain, you have to have the chromosomes because the chromosomes build everything. We know this and you know. What you know from this year publicly is that the chromosomes are electrical devices which make all the stuff, all the missions that I described, short in front of you. And Tesla somehow discovered all of them and invented radar and the remote control and the transformer that teaches me copy the chromosomes. How did this guy do that? No idea. But this is the same. That's in the review.
to get corrections, please. So, have you been able to to uh, assess or or actually demonstrate or capture the electrostatic signals between the chromosomes? As long as you don't even measure uh, the distance, the the electrostatic smoke. You can explain better than me. For instance, the enzyme is working for the uh, to function in the DNA molecules. The enzyme we can visualize and on the stretch DNA. The enzyme is attracted by electrostatic force because DNA is negatively charged. Then after attaching, it moves uh, rather very quickly on the DNA. This makes the electrical this is uh, enzyme also has the charge, so on the DNA, charge particle, this makes the uh, current, and that that will produce the uh, the, uh, the electromagnetic field in very small scale, uh, because inside the nucleus, the chromosome, the, uh, the distance is several tens of nanometer, so even a very small current will uh, make the, uh, the produce the, this kind of uh, electromagnetic force. That's uh, what uh, are, are there frequencies also? When, when we had talked on the phone, you had mentioned something about the yeah, subflow of an air resonant We have a, in, in the in the fact they measured the the this velocity, uh, the velocity and the distance that the uh, electrostatic smooth uh, enzyme. Okay. And there is, uh, we have enough evidence that there is uh, electricity in the chromosome. I didn't tell you uh, actually uh, in answer to this question. When the first, our group is the first one that uh, suggested that the chromosomes are not only carrier of the genes, but also operated with the energy. And first, as a group, we study this uh, similarity between the Tesla coil and the chromosomes in their functions and st structure. Then we study, is it possible for chromosomes to possess structures that can work like a conductor and uh, transmitter and receiver, and this was supported with experiment positively. And then we were able to distinguish several of the main forces which are now, uh, now in the Maxwell's equations. And some of them, like uh, attractive forces, fusing forces, transporting, are very important, not only for the working of the chromosomes, but for development of the cancer and other dangerous diseases. Because the mechanism of this is enough. Cancer is studied for 300 years, billions. Every day are melting. No one knew the mechanism. Down syndrome. I, I hope you know what is Down syndrome. The same. Parents have absolutely helps. Look at their chromosomes, they have better chromosomes than mine. And then a baby with one extra copy. It's not a genetical disease because the parents are helps. It's not inherited. It, it's, um, uh, it's more than 300 years we didn't know the mechanism. Now, these electrical forces, they can explain because there is so-called satellite association of these attractive forces, and there is no disjunctions of the chromosomes during the, the cell division, which could explain this. And I'm sure these young people, if they close to the chromosomes and learn their secrets, you can make wonderful inventions chromosomes are hiding a secret supply of plants, all animals, humans, and we still could not touch them. Even until this year, we didn't know that they produce electricity as electrical devices. And how these devices are constructed is 
very, very complicated because the DNA is double strain. And we, so between them are bases that they need to an inch to zinc again, and between them is empty space. Everyone who works in electricity understands what is the meaning of this to have a space. And that's why Tesla made coreless transformer. Because exchange of electrons, ions, and other reactions according to the law of physics are in much, much, much stronger. So young people stay close, look what this is uh, coming in the chromosomes, and make your invention like this. <laughs> you have a chance. Does this mean theoretically that we could, if we could duplicate the uh, electrostatic forces or the electrical signals that the chromosomes have, that we could heal or repair cells remotely? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it, there is a, uh, a lot of uh, potentials. And uh, we, I didn't put all the missions here. One of the missions is about the information. Remember this information of the chromosomes. Chromosomes are getting the small bag and then it's going big, big and suitcases and so on. 
and toward these big cells, the evolution invented this super large chromosome. It's located in the salivary gland in the larva and producing enough energy to, to cover the, the whole big sack of suitcase. And no one knew, and even uh, Thomas Morgan made this discovery and became Nobel Prize. And then a guy called Hepton worked in Hawaii, and he looked at the animals and saw that all birds and other stuff of uh, life uh, more or less unified. But Prosophila, this larva, over 800 species in a small Hawaiian island. How this come up? Why this is so evolutionary capable to change? No answer, but we believe that this is big chromosome. When it oscillated, it's like a thunderstorm machine. It's breaking the chromosome. If you break the chromosome, you make mutation. That is what Thomas uh, Morgan made with the X-ray. So it, it, it's come just from the place. And of course, Tesla, Tesla Tower in Long Island. Uh, does this mean that consistent exposure to electromagnetic fields, especially at certain frequencies, can disrupt the uh, splitting and merging of chromosomes? Absolutely, absolutely. And if you uh, read a little bit from the medicine about this telephone, especially the first one, half meter long. And you know how many people know that the brain tumors increase giving it uh, close to the, to the brain. That's why people now develop devices, the company try to develop devices to keep it far away, blue chips in the car, so it's not only really convenient, it's much more safe because our chromosomes are different. I didn't want to go in this uh, direction, but if two patients have a cancer, you go for treatment to the x-ray. It's not the x-ray, it's the chromosome. It depends how the chromosomes, the windings are oiled, and how the heterochromatin is tightly or loosely oiled. And in some cases, if the, the x-ray radiation fit with the chromosomes, they go in the resonance, yeah. and you get healing effect. It's repairing. But if they do not match, and then we will we'll have turbulation, vibrations, which will crack the chromosomes. And that explains why some people treat with the same machine, receive benefits, and in group, others just the opposite. They are just complicated. And the people in the, in the medicine have no answer until this time, but we believe that this provide a reasonable explanation because it's not only the transmitter, it's impossible how a receiver will respond. And the receiver is the chromosome in, in, in this way. We have to find the resonance frequency of the uh, Absolutely. And for this, you have to study the, 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 the chromosomes and to see where it's called heterochromatic variants in humans, they the chromosome 1, 9, 16, Y some other places, and to measure these sizes, and then to, to, to measure and the forces and the x-ray, the time, and the, uh, the strength of the, the x-ray, uh, that will be, and they, they should be, if we're correct, and we believe we're correct, because already it was published in the international uh, the journal, and uh, we have support uh,
is genius work because he died long, you know, he died forgotten lonely in the Hotel de Dio. And he was considered crazy because he was a little strange man looking for the three napkins, three boards, three, three number of the room that he is going to stay, talking with the white pigeon, uh, a hallucination and stuff like that, which is part the work made is genius. We are not perfect. We have a positive and negative side, every one of us. Physically or mentally. So I go together.